What's up creators, it's your boy, Mad Mike. On today's episode, we picked up a brand new Harley and we're gonna be saying goodbye to our other Harley. So let's go check it out. Bam. So before we get into the new Harley that we just picked up, which is a 1999 Dyna FXT Super Glide, I'll show you the Sportster 1200, which we're gonna be selling. So this is a 1988 Sportster 1200. I just did a video on it, I believe a couple days ago, giving kind of a, an update of everything I've done to the bike. We just got the new 48 tank put on there. So I think what I'm gonna do is take the front fairing off, take the sissy bar off, because now that we got this tank on, it looks more like a bobber. And we're, we might end up using this fairing on the Dyna, but I got some big plans for this, so we might go a whole different direction with it but I'll probably leave the crash bar on, paint everything else black, and uh, yeah, we'll list this thing here for sale, see if we can flip it, make some good coin off of it, and uh, put all of that money into this build, and then next year, we'll sell this one. But I wanna get out and enjoy riding for the next month or two here in Ontario before winter comes, so plans are to paint all this black, take off the parts that I don't need that I don't think will help with selling, like this custom sissy bar that I built here. Uh, I kind of want to hold on to that. It's a pretty cool piece that I made with the Harley logo in the rear. But let's check out the new bike. So, like I said, this is a 1999 Harley Davidson Dyna FXD Super Glide. Drove six hours each way, so it was about a 12 hour round trip with my girlfriend to go pick this up. It's pretty much on the border of Quebec, uh, near Ottawa here in Ontario. And I got it for a really, really good deal. Um, and my plans for this are club style, but with a twist. I really like the FXRT fairings, the big fairings up front, and do a wild custom paint job. Or we might do like a club style build with the smaller crater fairing like we have here on the Sportster. So leave a comment below if I should do like an FXRT, huge fairing, kind of a big kind of bagger style with some saddlebags on the back, or if I should make it more sleek like a stunt build Dyna club style. We'll do a little walk around, I'll show you what this bike has on it, starting from the front to the back. All right, up front we got some chrome spoke wheels, which are still in amazing condition. The bike might be a little dirty right now, just got it off the trailer and took her for a ride for the first time yesterday. And uh, yes, yeah, so we got spoke wheels up here. Everything on this is stock. This thing has been chromed out like, like you wouldn't believe. There is chrome everywhere on this thing. We got this quick release windshield on here. You can see there, you just undo these, flip it off, which I will be taking this off, the saddlebags off, the sissy bar off instantly because I can't ride with this on. I just looks ugly. So moving up from the spoke forks, we got this detachable windshield, but which is cool, we still got some little pullback risers on here, which are, I believe, factory. And uh, they have like a one and a half inch, maybe even two inch pullback with some uh, decent drag style bars. But we have in the Mad Lab here, the cars we're working on, dirt bikes we're working on, this is gonna be a cool build. But we have some Bitwell mid-bend bars that are gonna go on with some uh, Arlen S grips. So those will be going on. They won't be in like this so much. They'll be bent out better for my wrist. So those will be going on probably tomorrow. And uh, we got some Chrome Harley controls, stock levers, uh, single gauge here, no tachometer, just the uh, speedometer. And then we got our fuel, more Chrome, gas tank, paint job, everything is in immaculate condition. The frame on this thing here is just clean as clean can be. And uh, move back from the gas tank, we got this Harley Davidson seat on here, which is super comfortable, but I'm gonna be reshaping the foam and stitching my own seat cover for this. That way, uh, it kinda looks like a saddleman seat. I don't feel like spending $800, $900 on a seat, so I'm just gonna make my own. And uh, moving back from the seat, we got a sissy bar, some detachable leather saddlebags, and a shit ton of chrome. Chrome on the primary, live to ride, ride to live, Harley Davidson, all Harley controls with some mini floorboards, some highway pegs, passenger pegs, and uh, yeah, 
I don't know if I want to leave the chrome. I'm not a big chrome guy, but this is pretty trick looking. So if we do a wild paint scheme on this down the road, the chrome actually kind of might work with the spoke wheels. Moving back from the seat area, we have, like I was saying, the saddlebags, which are gonna be coming off. It is built drive right now, and uh, probably in the future do a chain conversion, because on this 88 Sportster, I just threw on a nice gold O-ring chain. So we'll probably end up doing a chain conversion on the Dyna soon. We also have some Screaming Eagle exhaust pipes on it. It's not a two into one like most Dyna Club Sports are. So this is gonna go down the road probably and we'll do something custom, a, kind of like a unique two into one system. But for now, it's nice that we got some Screaming Eagle pipes on there. If I'm missing anything, I'm sorry. But yeah, like there's this chrome everywhere on this bike, man. Literally all nuts and bolts. And uh, yeah. Lights, everything works, everything's in great condition. Let's go ahead, we'll grab the keys, we'll fire up the bike, give you guys a little sound check here, and uh, in the next video, we'll start tearing it apart and adding some parts to it. Got the choke on right now. It's a cold start. The starter button up front's a little uh, weird right now. It clicks every now and then, but I do have a secondary starter right on the starter, so it's probably just a solenoid I'll have to fix. Sounds pretty decent though. Let's drop the choke and see if we can give a couple revs here without killing it. There you have it guys. That's my 1999 Harley Davidson FXD Dyna Super Glide. Leave a comment below. Well guys, it hasn't even been like five minutes. Got the seat off, took the sissy bar off, saddlebags off, big ugly front windshield is off. And uh, one thing I just noticed that this bike has that I was wondering why it felt a little low on the back end, they installed these lowering blocks. I don't know if you guys can see that there. So yeah, I got to change that. I'm going to be swapping these back to the stock location. I think it's about a one inch drop it looks like. And I'm looking for some 14 inch rear shocks. If anybody's got anything, DM me, message me, let me know. But I want to jack this thing up a bit. But yeah, it's been five minutes and I got sissy bar, windshield, saddlebags, a bunch of other stuff off and it's looking better already. Well, if you guys stuck around to the end, I'll give you guys a little bonus. I got the bars off, all the controls are off, and I did get rid of those one inch spacers so it's sitting a lot higher, which is awesome. Get rid of these little junker low things. And bonus, we're gonna put on the new handlebars here. We got the mid-bend bitwell handlebars versus the old stock ones. You can see the bend difference there. And uh, yeah, let's throw these things on. Well, it's starting to get late outside. Got the handlebars on the Dyna all installed. So let's take her out for a quick little boot and see how they handle, but cosmetically they look way better and uh, couldn't be happier with them. Got to swap out the grip on this end, the Arlen S that I had. I didn't get the fittings for the cable uh, to adapt to it, but there you have it guys. There's the uh, Bitwell mid-bend bars. They look a lot better, a lot more straight on the arms and uh, couldn't be happier with those. Completely changed the look of the bike too. 
club style. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the little walk around of the Dyna build project that we got here. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, follow the builds. We got some other cool projects here on the channel. Leave a like, you know, share, tell all your friends, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Ciao, ciao. Woo.